Hey everyone, Mickey here, back with another episode of Valiant Hearts Coming Home. So man, I I mean, yeah, the game has picked up really good. I'm in, I'm again enjoying the art style, the story, the, the storytelling, and obviously our Freddy is back. Uh, although we have been ad- introduced to two new two new characters, that is uh, James, that is uh, Freddy's younger brother, and the British uh, pilot. I I forgot his name, man. What was his name again? Yeah, I, I, I forgot his name. John? Was it John? Uh, see, this guy, uh, the guy in the middle is James. Uh, the one on the right is Freddy, we all know, then Anna. Uh, that, yeah, this guy has just been introduced, that is Ernst. And we know the dog. This is the British pilot, I forgot his name. I, I, I don't, I, okay. Maybe in the next episode, I'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah, but then again, yeah, the story started out really good. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't played as Freddy, though. He was just introduced, and you know, uh, that uh, James is his younger brother. And then uh, to, you know, move forward in their war. So basically, uh, these airplanes, they joined when the last game ended. So basically, when they raised the flag. So at that time, the airplanes, uh, this air team was joined by the British air team. But then again, like if you remember in the last game, there is nothing about there is air force joining like British air force joining these guys. I mean, yeah, there were airplanes, but those were those were all all enemy airplanes. So yeah, they I mean, yeah, it, it, it didn't uh, like you know transition that smoothly in the story maybe they didn't i don't know what they thought of like this is a small mistake but i i think i can let it go if the game or in whole turns out really good so let's just hope for the best i'm really excited uh i want to meet anna i want to meet the dog the pooch uh we have just been reduced to Ernst. we know uh the pilot we know james is uh, uh, again i'm repeating everything but yeah i mean yeah the story is ping up let's see let's see where this goes let's see what this episode has for us maybe we'll meet anna in this episode so yeah let's see what this episode gives us without further ado let's start this episode 18 months before Jutland Peninsula Peninsula Jutland I think it's Jutland May 31st 1916 on land the conflict was bogged down in trench warfare neither the allies nor the central powers were able to make significant gains at sea allied forces dominated Germany with a crippling blockade. Determined to stay away from the war, Ernst escaped to the solitude offered by the depths of the sea. It was here below the surface that he scavenged, hoping to eke out a living. But wasn't Ernst right now on that ship, the U-boat? Okay, so yeah, that, maybe they are showing yeah it's backstory or something is. Yes. Okay. Wait, why are you going to the right? We can go to the left. I want to go to the left. Okay, so there's nothing there. <laughs> I really wanted to see, man. I mean, maybe uh, if I read it, I would have missed her. Collectible object there. Do I just jump? How can I climb back? I cannot climb back. Okay, I'm not sure how how am I am I climb am I going to climb up? Man, I really love the art art style of this game, man, and they have kept it like the same art style the same kind of storytelling and everything you know that's what i've liked about this game always like the art style the storytelling it's not like e- even if being a war game it's not actually a war game it's just like one of the you know 2d side scroll puzzle game kind of a thing whoa holy okay i think we are now blocked inside so i think yeah the only option is to move forward. Okay. Yeah, I think. And now the only option is to go up. Let's see if there is something to the right. There is. Ooh, we found something. 
Oh, okay, it's not an object per se, but it's something. Now we have to climb this. I mean, yeah, it would have been possible for him to jump inside water, but it makes sense. He's wearing a pretty heavy suit. So, we, whoa, there is something there. Can you climb up? Okay, uh, no man. What are you doing? Get no. The hell is wrong with you? Okay, we got something there. Let's climb the. Let uh, wait. It's still working? How? How is that thing still working? Okay, so the only way to go down is by jumping off this thing. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this. So we don't get a... Okay, we cannot push this. I was thinking maybe I can push this and not oh not get fall damage wait what i cannot get inside why let's move out of way man yeah I, I can wait what why did he ask us to go back There's nothing here oh we can go out but why did he ask us to go back? We cannot do this? Is that so? We can do this. But I think we are supposed to come from the other side. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why he didn't. It asked me to go back. Yeah, I have to push a bit more. Excuse me. Okay, let me get this. We got two posters, I think. Okay, I cannot go through. Maybe I can get in here. Not going to the left, so we are going to the right. Okay, got this. Oh, I can jump. Don't. Oh, it have been. It would have been really, really, really wrong if we just slipped on that top one. Then we have backtrack all the way. Okay, now that we cannot go there, we'll just go, we'll just follow this. The so last time we went to the right, this time we are going to take this ladder and see what is there up top. There's this lever. Pull on it. Open the door. Open sesame. So we can jump off, but we cannot like jump, jump. Wait. We're not supposed to be here. We're not supposed to be. Here. That's a long ladder, man. <laughs> Can we play? Okay, we cannot play that piano. I was like, can I, can I play that piano? Ooh, we got a sextant. Things that sailors used to use for navigation. A sextant. I don't know why it's called that, but it is what it is. Oh, we got it. 
Oh yeah, he was here for the scavenging. Okay, he cannot get out of this place as well. Wait, what? Dude. Let's see if you can help them, man. Go. Okay, I don't think he's helping anybody. Okay, now I can climb because of all the trash. I would say I'm not sure if it's a trash, but we can call it a what is it called? The ship wreckage? Yeah, ship wreckage it is called. No, but this couldn't be that, right? Because when that ship, when we, uh, when this guy shot a torpedo at that ship, he was inside that sh the U boat. So obviously this is not that part. This has to be something else. Oh, okay, he's caught up in between the wall. Okay, they took our this thing down. Yeah, the lift thing down. Wait, they need they need that. Get one of these. We got one. You'll get one. You get one. Wait. SOS. Let me at least save that guy. Okay, let's get these guys one by one. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. What about you, man? You're coming? Oh, there's something there. Man, there's this net thing shining there. I want to pick the... Oh, I got it. I was like, I need to get that. Okay, very good. Man. Yeah, have it. Anybody else? Oh, there are more. Okay, there's one more guy that needs help. Need to save these guys, man. The casualties of war. Okay, you get one. Okay, why are you not helping like those guys who are saved? You can help other guys, right? At least bring them up. Okay, when are you going to? Yeah. You don't tell me he's going to take a shot at us. Okay, he did. Shit. What the hell did he do? As his boat settled on the seabed, Ernst began to come to terms with the war's inevitable, all-consuming power. Defeated and alone, he could feel the Jutland waters cold embrace tightening around him how did he got saved man stranded for hours in the aftermath of the battle of jutland 
Ernst was starting to feel his grip slip away. But when the merchant sailors aboard the submarine, the Germania, came to his aid, they not only saved Ernst's life, they also took him in as one of their own. In them, Ernst found kindred spirits and instantly felt right at home. But even at home, you have to carry your weight. Germania, Atlantic North, near Baltimore, July 10, 1916. So, somebody's calling us, I guess. <laughs> Let's get moving. Are we on a sum? Submarine? Oh, we got a wrench. We got a skull. Did we get a skull? No, we did not. Wait, what? We need to turn this? No, we cannot turn this. He's asking for a straight pipe. Okay. Where can we when there are so many things here? Okay, we got the straight pipe at least. Okay, I cannot get that. And there are so many things happening. And now we need to turn the wheel. Oh, we need to turn it other way around. Done. Wait, done. Okay, now what? Okay, we have to go to the ladder. Where is the ladder? Oh, there is the ladder. Oh, we have to climb the ladder. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, I think we have to pick up the ladder. What is on the left? Ooh, this guy is here. He's asking us to go there. Okay, then we'll go there. We have to look through that binocular thing. I'm not sure what it is called, but... Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, this is it. It's like, where is it? Let us see, let us see. What can we 1916, see? 1916. The US had remained neutral, allowing for business as usual. Despite trade blockades, the few merchant submersibles in existence, like the Germania, were still able to trade with them. Oh. So basically they were doing trade using submarines so that they can avoid the blockade. Hmm. Clever thing, man. Oh, it's before James even joined this. Oh, yeah, basically, obviously, after they declared. James, who was working the Baltimore docks at the time, was surprised to see the submarine pull into port. Right. Hey. Okay, now I know. Huh? Who are these guys? Oh, now you're going to get beating. <laughs> Again, see? An example of racism. Uh, okay. Now we are controlling him. Germania line not near Baltimore. Okay. He needs something. Oh, that guy has the screwdriver. Now we have to find him where this... Wait, wait, wait. There is a door there. Maybe we can find... We find something here? I don't think so. But so this is his quarters. Oh, there he is. But now he needs something. Yeah, he needs a pipe first. Okay. In exchange, he'll give us that. 
Now I have no idea where that is. There's a clarinet though. Where is this? Oh, what is that? Very weird thing. I think it's like some small statue of something. Oh, there it is. Where is this? Yeah, here it is. We can just go up, take a left, and we can get the screwdriver, I guess. Here, yeah, have your pipe. Give me the screwdriver. Thank you. Now we need to give this to James. Okay, now that he has the screwdriver, what is he going to do with it? Uh, okay, he is going to repair that so that this bridge can go down and they can deboard. Uh, okay, the he needs that the wrench. Uh, why does the cook have the wrench, man? What is he doing with the wrench? The kitchen was here, but the cook is not here. Where is the cook? Oh, the cook is here. Now, what do you want? Tell me. He needs. He needs. Oh, he needs the pig. Okay. Maybe he just wants to cook dinner. Bye bye. Yeah, now, okay, now we can maybe turn it back. Can we turn it back? No, we cannot turn it back. I'm not sure why, but we cannot turn it back. Okay, where is the cook now? Oh, for a moment I thought he went to the kitchen. To cook the pig. So I was just walking this uh, episode of Big Bang Theory. Like I've watched Big Bang Theory so many times, and there was this episode about you know Penny and uh, Leonard getting married, and she was like, okay, she was telling her dad that we got married and we forgot to tell you and everything, and his dad was like, okay, yeah, everything is fine, and I don't feel bad about it, and you know. It's fine and everything, but now that you have told us the truth, I'm going to tell you one more truth. And then he told me like he killed a pig. <laughs> and after killing the pig, he, he, she was like, "Okay." Here you go. You got clarinet. Ah, clarinet. Okay, let's just get the clarinet. So yeah, the, so the penny, uh, penny was at that time sitting with, uh, I guess, uh, I, yeah, I think she was sitting with Bernadette and uh, Amy, and they were talking about her, like she told her my pig died and everything, and I, then she was like, okay, they, uh, uh, they, uh, what do you call they? They buried him in the backyard of the farm or something like, and they <laughs> Amy was like, they, are you sure they didn't eat him? <laughs> and that is very weird, like ab about Americans, they just eat their pets, I guess. I don't know, I'm not sure, like I just heard, I'm just saying what I heard there. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Molodai Muzika. Yes. Oh, now they are going to play music in the submarine. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Shit. No, 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 no. Don't make any mistakes, man.
esto Dear Freddy, I'm glad to hear you're doing good. I hope you won't be upset with me, what with the war and all, but I recently met a German, and we really had a lot in common. It turns out Ernst is a damn good musician. I'm proud to say he's become a friend. We promised each other that when this war is over, me and Ernst will play together again. I intend to keep that promise. Your brother, James. The Germania's voyage was a commercial success, and her crew returned eager for their next trade. But their triumphant return was interrupted by the German Imperial Navy. As the sole German national aboard, Ernst was conscripted to fight. The submarine, too. Oh, so now they don't want the submarine to just trade, but to be part of the war as well. Wait, they, weren't they just... Oh, yeah. I was like, weren't they just taken? Okay, so now we are fighting a war. Why are you sleeping, man? Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh. What just happened? That... What did those change into beds? Okay. He's not happy about the war. But now he runs fine. <laughs> He's like, okay, now I'm ready for the war. Now I will take everybody down. I don't know how German speaks, so I'm just trying to imitate some kind of voice. By decree of the Kaiser, the Germania was henceforth ordered to hunt convoys in the Atlantic. Ernst was faced with a grim choice. Yes. Torpedo the Pocahontas and kill his yes. friend, or disobey a superior's direct order and risk being put to death. He had chosen to save his friend, but knew it would only be a matter of time before he was ordered to kill again. 